The Bible says that the preaching of the gospel was going on in the book of Acts. And men yeah, we'll pour it down a little bit. And they came crying, what must I do to be saved? And Peter told him, repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you shall be saved, amen? How's it going, guys? Not too bad. How about yourself? All right. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, we turn it down a little bit. I know. It's... It's just how <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, I know. It. You guys know what you can do. Yep. You can deny him, but he's going to deny you. Yeah, we'll try not to make your job any harder. If, if, uh, you confess me before yes, sir. You'd be safe out there. I'll confess you before my father. And when you believe that message, when you're willing to look to the cross and the sacrifice thereupon for your salvation, you could be saved today. All right. But you must respond. And you must respond in kind. Stop resisting God. The Bible says that he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. If you're willing to humble yourself today, if you're willing to turn from your sin, Jesus Christ is willing to save you. I have kids trying to sleep. You have to be quiet. I'm sorry, we're here to preach the gospel. of it. He could see the destruction of it, and he could look to the only one that could save from it and believe the message that he preached, that he's able to set you free from sin. And when you believe that message, when you're willing to look to the cross and the sacrifice thereupon for your salvation, you could be saved today. But you must respond. And you must respond in kind. Stop resisting God. The Bible says that he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. If you're willing to humble yourself today, if you're willing to turn from your sin, Jesus Christ is willing to save you. Listen, I have kids trying to sleep. You have to be quiet. I'm sorry. We're here to preach the gospel. Get off of me! Call the police. Get off of me! Call the police. Get off of me! Nope. You're going to jail. Get off call me. the police. Tony, Get call the police. Get off me! Nope. Citizens arrest. Get off of me! Citizens arrest. Get off of me! Nope. You're keep disturbing the peace! You're going to jail. You're on tape, too. You're being yeah. recorded. You're going to Get jail. Get off of me. No, you're going Get off to jail. Me. Absolutely Get off not. Me. Absolutely not. Get off of Absolutely me. Absolutely not. You're going to jail. You're disturbing the peace. You're going to jail. Get off of me. You're going to jail. Get off of me. And you're being recorded. I don't care. You're going to jail. You're not going anywhere. You destroyed my property. Mom, he won't get off. Me. Well, you're going to jail. That's why the cops because are coming. Because I question shit because he won't uh -huh. shut the fuck up. You're going to jail. He's disturbing my kid. You're going to get jail. Off of no, me. the police are coming. Give me her head. Um, no, not until the cops come. Yeah, we're at the Five Corners intersection in Unitown, right by Walgreens and the, the Tower Apartment. We have you on video today. We'll be coming for you. Now with that, that's why we're out here. We want yeah. every creature to hear. Cars passing. We want the people up in there to hear us. Uh, and the fact that they're calling means that they're hearing us. That's only, the, that's only evidence of what we want to do anyhow. So why would we backpedal on what we want to do? Yeah. We want them to hear us. So, you know, it's the First Amendment. So you think they appreciate it? Well, I mean, do people appreciate Jesus preaching? The Bible said because he was hated, we'll be hated also. The message isn't always well received, but when they do receive it's it, it's usually not well power, received initially. When they believe that Jesus bled, died, was buried and resurrected, and they're Amen. willing to turn from their sins Amen. and receive him as Lord, when they believe that, well, then they'll appreciate the message. They'll love the message because it's to the salvation of the soul. Amen. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did he say? Be considerate. So what we want to talk about tonight, but you will not like the worldly pleasures if you is the see what is to come. Amen. What is what is there for you for the worldly pleasures and desires? How you doing, officers? What's up, man? We had a uh, lady come out. We had her coat over here. She pulled away because uh, we were trying to hold her and make a citizen's arrest. She went over into that house. We have everything on camera. That's kind of why we wear cameras. She pushed over our speaker. It's still working, but it's broken if you guys want to take a look at it. Okay, here's my question. We're going to address one thing at a time here. Why do you need a megaphone? So everybody hears. I understand that, but there are people who are trying to get to bed and have to work. It's 7 o'clock. There, there's, no there's no time on noise. Well, the, the issue... Serving the piece... The issue, no, yeah. let me finish, because I'm going to end it on my own if you don't let me finish. I'm giving you one chance to not, you don't need to use the megaphone to get your word across. Sure we do. How? Explain the first, how. What's the difference between that and a megaphone? The, well, 
because the First Amendment carries with it the right to be heard. I know. That's and also freedom of religion, free of speech. Where is that? Also, there's also a law that says the serving the peace. Okay, well, we need to see the de definition of the serving. You yes, anything. you do. Sir, You're sir, a police well, officer. No, sir, that is your respect. job. You're a police officer. I can show you. You can't create laws. You enforce laws that already exist. I can show you at the station while I'm writing it out. You can if you want, but again, okay, and we have attorneys that handle this type of thing. That's fine, but here's the thing. It seems like you're trying to cause a problem. No, we're not. We're no, we're the practicing our First Amendment right. right. It's not a good man. I, I know you too, I know and you are Mason too. And all this stuff. I, we're not I, here to argue with you. Yes, you are. No, you're, we're not. You're being, listen, our First Amendment you, right is never a problem. Christ. Listen, uh, let me ask you that, sir. People, do you people, believe in Jesus Christ? There's people in that building right there. You don't there want to answer that Well, our... You don't want to answer Listen, my question. Listen, any question you want. Our rights, our rights have been violated, but we're being questioned for practicing our right. Everything, no, everything is legal. Everything we're doing, what have we done that has broken the law? But we preach out here every weekend. Every weekend. Are you guys arresting us every weekend? No. We have people that stand around here and do it all the time. We ask them to lower it, and they do. We did. We lowered it. Where's the decibel reader? Do you have a decibel reader? No. Well, then how do you know we have not lowered it? We've lowered it. We're not telling you. Certainly you do. Yes, that's within the law. Show me that. Show me that. Show me. Show me where we're violating. What law? What law? Well, because you're trying to say we're breaking the law. We are not breaking any law. What law are we violating? There's. But in fact, we've been attacked. But you're unconcerned with that. You're unconcerned with the content of our message. Then why are we? Why are we being questioned for laws that we haven't broken? You haven't asked us about what happened. You're going on into what we're preaching. And you showed me mercy that day, and, you, and I was in the right. Wrong. What I'm saying is, I'm speaking to your character, sir. I'm speaking to your character. Oh, sir, I, I promise you, I'm not offended. I promise you. Anyway, we're asking you guys just to lower it a little bit so everybody can. How low? Can, why don't you tell us how low is low enough? Can just, you, listen, just, can just try, everybody try to get along. Let them, let them be able to hear your message. But the lady came over and attacked them. She came over. Is, are, are we doing anything about that tonight? I mean, she came over and attacked them. I just told them one thing at a time. Okay? Let's, let's try to come to a happy medium where you can get your, your message across. And my message is Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ message. You back up. Let's, let's try to get it so that Jesus Christ message. <laughs> Good, I'm listening. I mean, I'm, li I'm listening. I'm listening. to see the video. Uh, what do you want Good. me to do? Talk to me like a man, that's all. But think of, think of this. You, you cut me it, it off every time and turn your back. Think of I this. Am. I'm right here talking like a man. Tell me when you're ready. We're not police officers. Tell me when you're ready to talk like a man. I'm giving him the video. Tell me when you're ready to talk to me like a man. I'm talking to you like a man, sir. Okay, you ready? I'm talking to you like a man. Okay, you ready? I'm ready when you are. I am too. Go ahead. He's trying to come to a happy meeting. I told him we'll address one thing at a time. We're going to address the assault. But we're asking you, I want you to get your message across. Believe me, I'm, 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 I'm a believer too. We, we know you are. Okay? I know you are. But let's try to come to a happy meeting where you can get your message across but not, like, keep people up. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? Because it's kind of a warm night, so some people do have their windows open. And, and we, got, we got two calls from the building across the street. Even, you guys are always over there mm -hmm. doing it, even yeah. if you move down there a little bit. I mean, do you have to be here? And I'm not saying you can't be. I know. I know. I'm just saying you guys were always affected yeah. there. Maybe you're just a little too well, see, close to this and, building, and you got these people. Uh, you're right, and <laughs> and here's and but here's the issue about always moving at the call of someone else. Yeah, it's when does that stop? I get you, you know, I there's get a you. we have a First Amendment right. We're you protected do. of it, and I, and I respect that, and I respect what you're doing. <laughs> we need more people doing what you're doing. Okay, We're, I'm just trying to find a happy medium, a, a, a common ground, like the Bible says. I mean, every time we're asked to turn it down, we turn it down and. Officer obviously said we did. This doesn't sound loud. Now what he's doing right now. Well, that's because the speaker got a hole in the side of it that big. The oh. lady came over and bashed it over. We got a pile of scrap on the side, but praise the Lord, it's still working. And we're not even we're not even super uh, worried about her going to jail or anything like that. Uh, but we well, want people. Yeah, we want people to know that that's not acceptable. Absolutely. It's it's. Absolutely. And you know, as as police officers, one of the things that you know, obviously, you have to protect our rights. And just yeah. because we're yeah. packed, just Got because that. someone disagrees with our First Amendment right, right, doesn't give them the right to harm us or hurt us or even to silence us. Absolutely. I, and I told you, I'll, I'll get to that second. Okay. Just wanted to address the first thing, and then we're going to go deal with your the, the other okay. thing. Okay. Okay. Um, I have her coat. She may have ID in it because I had her by the arm and told her I was holding her till the police came. Wearing pink? 
Yes, yes. Pink, yes. pink bait pajama suit on. Kind of um, light hair, almost like she's balding. Okay. So that's her coat right there. She came from that building, right? No, she came, I believe, from that white house right there. Oh, I thought she came from the building. Well, then I, I got an idea who it is. Okay, I'm maybe, I don't know. only two apartments. Though. Okay. Yeah, it's not the one gentleman that we, we, we just, yeah. I'm trying to find which one. I have three different live photos, uh, live videos on Facebook here. That's not, no one could complain about that. Well, no one could really hear it either. They just turn it down pretty low. Well, well you know, if they're stopped, well, if, see, they're, if they're driving, no and he, well, here's <laughs> here's the, here's the other thing. We have people up in that parking lot listening to us. We have people who actually come out. We have a gentleman that we correspond with a lot that comes out of that building, comes over, talks to us, discusses mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So it's not, you know, who is who? Who are we supposed to agree with? The people who say you shouldn't, or the people who say you should? You know, who's no one's right? No saying stop. Everybody is saying, can they turn it down? No one has said stop. Yeah, not one person has called no, and said no, stop. No, that's the good thing. No, everybody wants are. to hear it. Everybody yeah. wants the message out. They just want it lowered so they can get their kids to sleep. Tomorrow's the first day back to school. Yeah. Some of them said they got small kids trying to go to sleep, going back to school tomorrow after a long holiday. Yeah, and listen, you know, we wouldn't yeah. be out here. Yeah, we're not staying out till midnight, hours, 9 o'clock. So I got work in the morning. You know, we're yeah. all going yeah. home. Like it's not. Said, man, every time we get, come and talk to you guys before, it's, it's always been played. And it's going to continue to be so. Neither None of us are breakers of the law, you know. Exactly. That's why you. That's why earlier, like I did, I pulled up. I said, "Hey, just turn it down a little bit." You said, "Okay." We we fully understand that when someone calls you guys, you just have to show up. You just have to say, "Hey, can you turn it down?" And that's you know. But obviously, there's a there's a point to where we if we keep turning it down, we're not going to be heard. And you know, I like I like the fact that we have rights in this country. I like the fact that you know, you have rights to carry guns. We have the right to speak. We have the right to preach. And on top of on top of all that, you know, these rights shall not be infr infringed upon. Uh, maybe uh, mid forties, light skin, very light skin, black. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's that like blondest hair that was all over the place. Glasses, sure no big house right there. Where we glasses. Yes, yeah, she two, came. There's came only two apartments there. there. When we looked up, she was coming like you know. Yeah. High there's only two apartments there, so we'll just check that out we first. Don't, yeah, I don't know if, if, if it was an apartment or some. Uh, shit. My face was. Did you recognize her? Yeah, I didn't see it. Oh. He's to yeah, I'm trying to find them too. Do you it was, have it? It was towards the end of the yeah, I was Yeah, I got it on live. That's why we wear we wear cameras. It's not for show. It's not protect you. And though the devil would try to hinder us by having our equipment destroyed, God is faithful. Another saying of God has provided another speaker for us to preach with and to continue going out and spreading the gospel. But we ask that you would pray for the young lady who destroyed our equipment and also pray for our ministry that we have strength and protection uh, to continue carrying the gospel. God bless you, saints.